go. Jalen Tyson, 6'7", 215 pound guard for the Cal Bears. I'm very intrigued by this player. I mean, he's been to three schools in three years, so I'm wondering if there's any type of off the field stuff or, you know, chemistry things that he's not getting along with his teammates. Uh, or maybe he just wasn't getting the playing time that he wanted or the NIL, NIL deal that he wanted. I don't know. But he's been to three schools in three years. Uh, but it's a, he's a very interesting player. I mean, he is silky smooth on the offensive end. Uh, great touch. He's an uh, elite, elite shooter. But we're going to get into that in the film. Uh, I want to thank all of the subscribers. Uh, we are up to 330 uh, three subscribers, I believe. So this channel's flying. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get right into the tape. Here we go. Jalen Tyson, the 6'7 junior for the Cow Bears. He gets a, a pass here from the point guard on the secondary break and some nice vision to that gaping hole in the USC defense. Nice look, nice dime, right on the money. Here is Jalen Tyson against Brawny James, one-on-one. -on -one. The reason why I put this in here is because Jalen can create off the dribble. Pretty creative, uses the screen well, just got in a little too deep, needs to draw and kick better, uh, but then he turns it over, he panicked a little bit. But what I really wanted you to focus on was his ability to create separation off the bounce. At 6'7", that's a nice skill to have. I'm going to run this play all the way through because I just want to point something out for all of my young guards out there. Set screens the way Jalen Tyson set screens because you're going to get open. Look at all that space he created. Even though he didn't take the shot, it did get him open. Now look at this ability to create a jumper off the bounce. That was beautiful basketball, beautiful touch, beautiful range. That's going to translate at the NBA level. Now, this defensive possession, I didn't like at all from Jalen. Uh, we're going to watch him right here. He just kind of gets hung up on the screen. It's what we call dying on the screens. You got to fight over that. You got to have quicker feet to get over and defeat those screens. All I'm going to say about Jalen Tyson, he is a bucket. Just watch this possession right here where he gets the ball, he gives a little shoulder, little shoulder fake, a little jab step, gets his teammate a wide open three, that doesn't go, and then that perfect form where he just drains it. Now here's Jalen Tyson off the ball. This is gonna show you a little bit about his basketball IQ offensively. He's directing traffic right here. You can see him telling people where they need to be. Sets the softball screen. Now watch the IQ. His defender plays up. He goes back door for the easy layup. That's great basketball. Here's Jalen Tyson showing you that he's willing to stick his nose in there on the offensive glass at 6'7", 215 pounds. Right here, just snatches that board over top of two USC players. Here's where Jalen Tyson needs to understand that if you're going to curl into the paint with the big guys, if you're going to go up there, you got to go up there with two hands at 6'7", attempting to dunk this ball. You cannot, you cannot be fading away, taking contact, because the weak side in the NBA, they're going to block the crap out of that. So if you're not going up two hands strong to dunk, you've got avenues to get your teammates open shots. He had the chance to pass it right here when he was turned in the corner. He has the opportunity to keep his dribble alive and come out and pass it to this guy here. He's got a lot of different options, but what you can't do is go in there with this weak one arm layup and just get it padded off the glass like that. Now, these are the moments for older players. Like he's a junior, so he's an older player. You want to see what they can do in late shot clock situations, game clock situations. And I kind of don't like where this possession ends up for Tyson, uh, Jalen Tyson, is he, he doesn't really do anything with this. The defender does flop. They do get a good shot out of it, but he really didn't create anything for himself or for his teammates. Uh, really got lucky that they 
you know, doubled. He had nowhere to go. He didn't really create any separation or space. He can. It's just that he was just really unsure of what he wanted to do. Now, I noticed this a lot in the beginning of the game, and I was trying to figure out if it's because Jalen um, is conserving his energy since he initiates so much offense, but he cannot come off screens like this. It bogs down the offense. He rounds off this cut and allows the defender to get between him and the ball. You gotta come right off the hip of the screener, and you gotta come off that thing strong. And uh, if you look, he just kind of rounds it off and causes a near turnover for his teammate. All right, so here Jalen uh, is going to get to work and he's going to try to create his own shot here. And again, there's just some indecision to his game. Nice pump fake, nice step through, nice touch. Just doesn't quite get it to go. Here we're going to get to see Jalen Tyson get to the block, seal his man. He's really gonna make a nice catch because the center puts him in a bad spot. Watch whenever he gets down here on the block. This is a terrible angle to throw a pass. Nice catch, beautiful spin, touch off the glass. That's a nice move along the baseline. Here is Jalen coming out of a high pick and roll situation. And I tell young players this all the time, you cannot leave your feet to make a pass unless you know exactly where you're going with the ball the bad turnover that leads the points all right so here is uh Jalen Tyson making himself available at 6-7 in the middle of the zone and he just has a nice feel on this jumper so he can hit you from the outside from the mid-range he's a three level scorer Jalen Tyson is a three level scorer watch him as he brings the ball up the court spins off this ball pressure euro right to the basket Beautiful agility at 6'7", 215 pounds. On this rep, Jalen Tyson calls for the clear out. You can see him motioning right here for his big man to go away so that he can get some space. And he just goes to work, man. Steps right into this triple. He's got a beautiful stroke. He can fill it up. We like hustle plays around here at Hoops Profile. And I especially do. And here you go, nice little pick and pop. Watch the hustle by Jalen Tyson. Knocks it off of Bronny James. Cow Bears basketball. So here I wanted to point out, I'm not really a big fan of this <clears throat> weak side help. Double teaming in the post for no reason. He loses track of his man, gets penetration. Instead of putting himself in front, take the charge he just reaches and that's a foul not a good defensive rep for Jalen Tyson here is Jalen Tyson going up high for the rebound now we are almost we are under six minutes to play it's a six point game you got to be stronger with the ball than this he brings it down low right at his waist Isaiah Collier just rips that thing away all right, here we go. We have Jalen Tyson late in the game. Five minutes to go, four point game. Little left to right crossover. It's right down the, to the cup. Takes the contact, finishes soft off the glass. Big time. Here's what I like to call good on good. Four minutes left to go in the game. USC needs a bucket. They go to Isaiah Collier being defended by Jalen Tyson. And this is where Jalen's going to need to get better. He goes under this screen, but he gets picked off by his own man. He's got to be quicker with his feet and keep his body in front of Collier's. So Collier has to go through him. So that's a tough rep for, for Jalen. This is a big time possession. One point game for Cal versus USC. Two minutes left in the game. Low shot clock situation. Watch Jalen Tyson go to work here. Just little stutter step pull up three. Man, that's wet. And that is it for me today, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below of Tyson, of Jalen Tyson, 6'7", 215 pounds for the Cow Bears. Silky smooth, soft touch. Got a nice touch from the mid range. Can take the ball to the basket. 
He's a little erratic at time with his passes, but he can make good decisions off the pick and roll. He uh, can make good decisions on those corner skip passes. Just sometimes he has concentration issues. Uh, his defense needs some work, but he will rebound. I like him. Where do you think he'll go in the NBA draft for 2024? Who do you think he fits with? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I really appreciate all the support that I've been getting. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.